Hi, this is Mr. Cully, and this video is going to show you how to get some code that you've written on the Microbit website downloaded and onto your actual physical Microbit that you can hold in your hand. Now, just before we do that, the great thing about the Microbit website is you can load it up and just start coding. There's no account details, there's no sign in, there's no um, faffing about with user details, passwords, and so on that you probably won't remember. However, what that does mean is you can't save your work on the website. So it's a good idea on your computer, wherever you are, and I'm using a Mac, but it works pretty much the same in Windows. I'm just going to go to my Finder, which is pretty much Documents in Windows, if it loads. There we go. I'm going to go to my Documents here. Um, and what I'm going to do is create myself a new folder. New folder. And I'm going to call it micro bit so when I download my code I'm going to save it all in that folder so I've got to copy saved because when I close the website if I haven't done that I'll lose what I've done so now I've done that I'll minimize it and all you have to do to get your code from the website and mine I'm using Google Chrome but Whenever you download, it will appear in your downloads folder. So again, go back to documents and there'll be something called downloads or there'll be a folder there called downloaded contents or what have you that it will automatically save this into. I'm using Google Chrome on this website. So when I click compile, what that does is it prepares the code ready for the micro bit to understand it. And you'll see that it downloads it as something called a dot hex file. Now, because I'm using Chrome quite handily, it's here, microbit, and because I called it Hello World, it gives it a nice name there. Now in Chrome, what you can do is you can just click that and you can say Show in Finder, so it automatically takes you to where it's been saved, which is nice. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug my microbit into the one of the USB ports on my computer using the USB cable that comes with it. You might want to try and get one of your phone charging cables for this, which is a bit longer. But there we go. I'll plug my micro bit in. And hopefully we'll see it appear down here in devices any second. There we go. There's my micro bit. And all you have to do to get your code from your computer onto your micro bit is you just click and hold and you drag it, hover over the micro bit and you drop it. There we go and you'll see it's transferring over. Now if you look at the back of your micro bit, you'll see a flashing orange light as the code transfers over. Once that's happened, there we go, once that's happened, you'll see a solid orange light on the back of your micro bit. And if you flip it over, as mine is now, and you can't see obviously, but mine is displaying the hello world message just like it is here when I run that code on the website. So there we go. If you want to run that again, press the button on the back of your micro bit next to your orange light, and it should run that code again for you. There you go. Mine's working exactly the same. There we go. So that's how to get the code from your micro from your computer onto your micro bit. But remember this micro bit folder I made a second ago? Well, I want to put my code in there for saving so i'm just going to go to downloads i'm going to get my micro bit code i'm going to drag it into documents i count there we go gone off to documents i'm going to drag it over my micro bit folder and i'm going to drop it there so now if i go back to documents go into micro bit there we go there's my hello world code saved for later. So that's how to get your code from the website onto your micro bit. It really is as easy as click compile and then drag and drop. If you move on to the next video now, we're going to look at how to expand this program so that our message keeps repeating.